morning. It's April 17th, 2024. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and we're gonna do a finishing tutorial for you. And um, we're gonna kinda just show you how you can take something and be inspired by someone else but change it. So today we're gonna be inspired by Priscilla and Chelsea of Stitching with the Housewives. And I'm gonna show you our supplies that we're gonna start with. We, the, the piece that we're going to finish today is Rabbit's April Word Swap. I stitched that on whitewashed 14 count Ada by Fabric Flare. I used called for DMC. I don't think I made any changes, except what I did is this line right here, and this line is part of the whitewashed um, Fabric Flare fabric. It's printed on, and this is classic color works right here. So I just used called for, no changes, but I did center. There's three stitches above and three stitches below. So what I did is I took the um, stitch count height, which is 41. I counted between the bottom of this line and the top of this, took the number of squares, minus 41 divided by two, and then centered it. So mine's gonna look a little bit different. Um, we're gonna be using a sticky board. We're gonna use 80-20 batting. And the two fabrics that Priscilla and Chelsea used are the Chelsea's check and the gray and the black. We're probably gonna end up with just one instead of two because the way they have it layered and we'll talk about that. This is the It's So Emma cross stitch finishing tape. Basically, it is finishing tape that when you unroll it, it's sticky on both sides and acid free. We have just normal um, finishing stuff. Now this one, you can see it's sticky. See how gross it is? This is used just for finishing cross stitch. So it's sticky. These are messed up scissors. This is a this is kind of the thing that we use the most in our finishing is the By Annie Stiletto. And the only reason we use it is because we messed. Anyway, it's very strong and it's all sticky. We also have a friction pin. So. We're also gonna be using a glue gun. Now, this glue gun we got off of Amazon. And when Priscilla and Chelsea came to film, the one thing they described is that we really needed a glue gun with a fine tip point. So that's why we're using this one. And then a tip from Denise is when she started doing finishing, she was using just random glue gun sticks and she said they weren't all the same they're not all created equal so she's been using the gorilla gun the gorilla glue gun hot glue sticks so we're gonna just kind of start finishing i wanted to talk about one other thing let's see go back up oh hobby lobby this is the hobby lobby piece and it i'm copying priscilla the number is on the back of the pattern. It's 1935824. It looks a little darker here, but this one's ours. So this is how it looks when you buy it. It's in the unfinished wood section probably, um, but basically that's how it looks on the front. It's in the wood pile section. And Denise is gonna do the finishing, but I kind of wanted to talk about when you're looking at this, can you zoom in a little bit, you think? Thanks. So the, the focus of their piece, the edge, is right after this flower and right under his feet. Mine, I'm going to put more space here and here because I love this, this um, fabric flare printed effect. So what we're going to do is... Denise is going to start finishing, and then we're going to kind of vote and talk through what we're going to do. We're going to try to leave this on there, and it will end up looking a little bit different. And what I mean is they have gray right here and then black right here, these two fabrics. We're probably just going to use black. And this is the first in the Word Swap series. This is Rabbits. The next one is Daisy. They all are going to have this black accent, I believe. And I'm going to be finishing mine... Well, Denise is going to be finishing mine where we glue it down instead of magneting it because I like to just have everything fully finished and not have to swap it out just for business reasons. So let's get started. 
Um, the first thing we need to do, and this is going to be Denise doing this, we're going to figure out how much of a margin away from these two lines we need to try to do. So we're going to be using a friction pin, and we're going to draw a line on the front and the back side of the cross stitch. You want to start with the one stitch? Oh. Yeah, and so what we're going to do, we were thinking at first, this is three stitches. And so when you look at it, it's pretty tight. So we're going to try to go to one stitch and then so that you can see a little bit more of the black. So Denise was pointing out if we do this, you won't see any black at the top. You'll only see it here. So we're going to go a little bit skinnier and we're going to try a one square away so that you can see a little bit of the black at the top. And um, this pattern is available at Back Quarter Shop. It's available as paper, and eventually it will be available as PDF. I did want to point out on this piece, right here, there's only one section I can do this. So this is going to end up being an expensive venture for me because I'm going to have to buy a new piece for every single one. Now with daisies, I got it, and I looked at it yesterday, and um, she's going to start while I'm talking. Um, it's the exact same print, except when they print it, it might not be on the exact same square. So this time I had three above and three below. Next time I might have two and a half above, three and a half above. So right now what she's doing is she is trimming about one and a half inches away, just trimming down. She is left-handed. So that is why it may look a little bit different. So she's just kind of trimming down so that she has some room to work and draw her lines. And so she's going to draw the line one square away from the printed line. And that's a fabric flare printed line. So she's just going to draw the line. And when you're using the friction pin, just make sure you, you only use it on light fabric and not dark fabric. Dark fabric will leave a white line. And this is the whitewashed fabric flare fabric. And I just happen to love it. Which one here? Because it's right on that line. So you want me to go one up? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then once she's done drawing the lines, then she's going to cut one and a half inches away from that drawn line and Linda says she loves daisies and can't wait to get started yeah I started yesterday so what I did and this is um, something that I have found is I forget what I do and then I get home and then I can't remember so at work I put this piece right next to my next piece looked exactly how I did this and tried to replicate it so that they would be similar and of course you could use, you know, this one if you wanted, it's just a little bit wider. But I just thought the, um, this gray line really adds some texture to it and I like how it ties to the gray and the bunny. I have been working on the way in, monthly way in April and that one has uh, black coffee bunnies and Denise had a great idea and we're make, I'm using the leftover gray from this and I'm turning mine into gray so they'll match. Would you like a quarter or a half an inch? So let's see. We're gonna see if we need a quarter or half an inch here. So we'll just put this like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll see. I think bigger is better. Okay, so I'll do half. So that there'll be just a little bit showing here and then more showing here, but not too too much more. So she's measuring half an inch away. And I think this is great that Denise is doing this because she's left-handed and we always get so many questions on left-handed and yeah. I have a question. How can I improve my speed to cross stitching? Even small tidbits take me four or five days because I'm so slow. Um, I would say things that might help are good lighting doing the sewing method instead of a hoop and that would probably be the only tip but you know some people stitch slower than others and I think that's okay when is the next hometown neighborhood coming out for non-club members website says April so um, probably in about a week 
I don't have the exact date. When is the new Tula surprise going to drop? It should be online now. So that's for quilters if you guys want to see. Okay, so in summary, she has drawn a line one square away from the top, one square away from the top, half an inch away from the end of the bunny tails, and she's gonna trim an inch and a half away from those drawn lines. Will Kimberly teach us how to use the foundation paper on the Tula Pink? Yes. I stitch impossibly slow. I think it's okay. I think everybody's different. Sometimes I just try to stitch so fast that sometimes it takes the joy out, but to be honest, the more I stitch, the faster I stitch, the more I can stitch. So again, an inch and a half away from that drawn line. And you guys are joining us from DC, North Carolina, Texas, Wichita Falls, Gulf Coast, a lot of people from Texas. And Deborah had a good point that alcohol will help clean off the sticky on the tools. Um, we just haven't even tried to clean them off. And Denise is doing all this. She does all the finishing here, so. She's measuring from here to here to find out the number of inches, and it looks like it's three and five eighths. Mm -hmm. So um, she's measuring that and she's writing it down. Do you wanna show them? So she's writing three and five eighths there. And then from here to here is 13 and a quarter because that's what she, or 13. Yeah, I think it said 13 and a quarter. And what she's going to do now is she's going to take her sticky board and because it's so wide, you'll need, you know, we have five by seven sticky board. This obviously wouldn't work unless you're going to join them together, but she's going to cut her sticky board that exact size that she just drew. And if she needs to adjust it a little, she will. But so she's measuring three and five eighths from right there and then she's going to cut and with your um, rotary cutter you really have to push down so you see how she's pushing down you really and it ruins your rotary blade for sure you really have to kind of use some power and then she's measuring the other side so I would take your piece and whatever your you know I wouldn't go with the measurements Denise wrote down I would go with the measurements you come up with just because when I stitch and when um, Cheryl stitches or Denise stitches, sometimes it doesn't come out the same. Hello from Southern Illinois. I've been checking Facebook and Instagram and the website. Okay, so go to the What's New page and hit F5. Huh? Oh, type in dragon fruit. And then we'll email for them to put it at the top of the What's New page. Okay, so now, tell me what you're doing now. Making it fit. Okay, so she's making it fit. So she's trimming down just to get it to the right size. Okay. So that's... So then when you put the, the sticky board in, you see a lot here. Do you think we should... Do this a little bit smaller? Yeah. So we're gonna, because, okay, so like if you can see it here, you can see more here than right here. And so we wanna make it kinda even, so we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. And she's gonna just do the math and um, try to make it fit. You want it to be exactly even? Yeah, we're gonna try to make it exactly even. And so, Denise has a very mathematical mind, so. I enjoyed stitchy talk yesterday. I was surprised you were stitching with a single thread. Does it look darker or fuller with a smaller count? So it looks definitely um, lighter and more vintage. It's a totally different look. I have enjoyed stitching with one thread just because it's been nice to not have to railroad but at the same time, the thread shreds more. So I think there's like a pro and a con to it. 
What is the most you should travel across X's when using the same color like white? I think that's all personal preference. I would say three or four stitches. So what Denise has done is she's figured out. It needs to be 13 inches. It needs to be 13 inches instead of 13 and a quarter. So she's just going to um, draw the line again. Have I ever sharpened my rotary blade? So there are products that you can buy that will sharpen your rotary blade, and I have never heard good reviews about them. That doesn't mean there's not a product out there that can do it. I would never trust myself. I am quite clumsy, and um, at any point in the shower, if I'm looking, I always have bruises on my knees because I run into walls. If I can't even walk straight and I walk into walls, I do not need to be using a rotary blade cutter. So it's something that I would not trust myself with. Linda Smith says, I used to stress about being slow, but then I thought to myself, I'm doing this for my sanity, so just enjoy, enjoy the process. I do the projects I want to do and don't worry about how fast it goes. That's a great point. Thank you for doing this finishing live. I need somebody to hold my hand step by step. And so we decided to do it this way just because Denise knows what she's doing more than me. And I feel like I can interact more and you can actually get a better tutorial with what Denise is doing. And so you can see she's just um, redrawing the line, double checking herself before we trim it down. I'm starting my first cross stitch on black Ada, any tips? I would say put a white pillow under your lap or under your piece that will reflect light up or just use light. Will the bunny needle minder and large mesh bag from the recent Stitch Quarterly ever be available separately? No. We only buy and make those exactly for the Stitch Quarterly, and if we have any left over, we sell the full kits, but we don't sell the items separately. Okay. Can you tell me which chart when you created your Christmas piece with all the names of your family? Yes, it was a Primrose Cottage chart. I would have to look and see. I don't, Jordan's going to see, but I don't really have any idea where to start. Do you? On our YouTube, um, on the last YouTube of the year where you did the trunk show. Okay, so would I would go to the last YouTube of 2024 on Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube and it should be there. Now what Denise is doing is she cut off this little tiny piece, which is the difference to get it a little bit smaller to fit in. And so now that she's cut that down, we can see how that looks within the um, piece. Christmas alphabet cross stitch pattern, and I adjusted it. So now see how it's pretty even across? And what I wanted to show is against the pattern, again, just so you can see the difference of what Priscilla and Chelsea did, is they cut their smaller here and here so that they could put a layer of gray and a layer of black. We're not doing that. We're using bigger margin. We're only gonna do black. And we're going to probably do batting, one or two layers under this. On the fabric piece that goes at the bottom, we're gonna use no batting. So we're gonna start with the top piece. And so one thing we found is by using a stiletto, you can take this little backing off. And then she's gonna put one layer of batting first to see if we think it's enough fluff. Oh, yeah. yeah, and so um, she's gonna just lay that down, get any of the little bumpy bumps off. And if you have any bumps in your batting before, usually you can just smooth it out. If you, you could always iron it before you put it on the sticky board, but obviously not after. And then she's just using the edge of the sticky board to cut, you could do that. You could use a ruler, you can do it however. Hello from Florida Keys. I like this formatting with Denise working and you talking. Thank you, go Denise. Okay, so now she's cut that batting off. And then she's gonna put the piece on the, 
Oh, she's going to draw some lines mm -hmm. on the back, probably. So she's going to kind of look and see. She might draw lines on the back. Sometimes you need to, sometimes you don't. So she's doing six stitches from the edge mm -hmm. and then so many stitches from the front, and that's what she's writing down. Good morning from San Francisco Bay Area. Yay! Good morning from Texas. It's very um, wet here. I keep, I've been washing my car like every day and it is so disgusting. Yesterday it had mud all over it. I was like, I didn't even go anywhere where there was mud. So I don't even know how it got mud on there. I was at one point thinking one of my kids might have pranked me, but I don't know. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a second layer of batting. Um, I don't think we'd really need to on this one. And then what Denise is doing is she's just recreating those lines that are on the other side because then that will give her a place to um, line it up on the back side with this. Your batting side, your batting is going to touch your fabric, and then this is going to not touch your fabric. You don't have to. Um, you. <laughs> Jordan said Christopher took it on a joy ride. Oh my gosh, let's not talk about the things that my children do. Um, one time my daughter did, when I was at work on a Black Friday, she did try to drive the car. And then we caught her and she said, Mom, I'm not doing it. And I said, I have a picture of you outside her house with a photo. Do you not know you have brothers who tattle on you? Get your butt out of the car. Should I admit that? No. Um, so yeah. But my kids do prank me, and it depends what kind of mood I'm in, if I like it or not. Kevin always thinks it's funny, but they don't ever prank him. Hello, Kimberly from Marietta, Georgia. Is Emma driving? Yes, she's driving. She um, She's 17 now, so she's had her license about a year. Um, and she drives me around, which is like the best thing when we go to dinner. I'm like, okay, you have to drive, which is awesome. So she's counting six squares. How thick should the batting be and what is the final size? So we'll give you the final size right when we're done. We'll, I'll remember, but it's about 13. The board that she finished 13. is 13 by 3 and 5 eighths. And so that's the size of this. And the batting, I would say um, up to you. We generally just use the 80-20. That's that's just like a medium thickness. Polyester would probably be too thick. Cotton would probably be too, too small. You could always do two layers. And um, I usually put batting on my cross stitch piece and not my fabric piece. I think that Priscilla and Chelsea sometimes do that and sometimes don't do batting at all. So I think it's personal preference. Everybody let me know what you're stitching, if you're stitching today. Um, some of you are still working on Quilted Witch from last year. I use machine embroidery batting behind my cross stitch. It's denser and gives a beautiful loft. That's a great tip. I don't think I have any of that. Currently stitching the Spring Quaker by Primrose. I accidentally coffee tea dyed it yesterday. Oh my gosh, that's something I would do. Yes, last night at dinner, um, Emma had on this jacket. It looked real familiar. And I was like, is that my jacket? And she was like, yeah, I'm wearing it to school tomorrow. And I was like, well, that's great, but it does have a tea stain. And she looked at it and I was like, it's okay. I'll get it dry clean when you get it back. So we are now um, borrowing jackets and shoes. Her shoes are um, not my size, but her clothes are. Okay, so what Denise has done is on only one side, and she started with the long side first. That gives you better results. She put a sticky sticky tape down, and then before she does the whole thing really tight, she's looking at it from both sides. And the sticky tape is, you know, it is very mendable, removable. Um, if you guys uh, want something fun to do, y'all can tell Jordan happy birthday. I won't tell you how old he is because I actually don't know, but it's his birthday today. So everybody can say happy birthday, Jordan. And someone who works here made him a cake. Oh, I wonder who that is. Cheryl made him a cake. I'm like, can I have some? Is there, is there a whole cake in your office? 
I'm going to have some at lunch. I'm going to come to your office at lunch and have some cake. Oh, Jordan says he's 24. He is not 24. He thinks he looks 24, but he does not. Maybe 24 times 2, but not, not really. He's not that old. He's not as old as me, but we just, yeah. We're all different ages in here. We're like 50, 35, 21, 28. We're all different. That's not exact, but that's, let's see. Somebody's working on Sweetwater quilt kit in the Renew line. Okay, so now what Denise has done is she's she likes the way the bottom is. She's moving to the top. So you would always go opposing corners rather than top, left, right, bottom. You would do top, bottom first and then left, right, if that makes sense. I will be starting I'll Be Home by Erin Elizabeth. It's a Christmas pattern. And then here, this one can be a little tricky just because this line is printed. So what she's doing now is just kind of, you know, trying to get that as straight as you can. It's never going to be 100% straight. And I think it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to move to the sides. Apparently, I live dangerously. I rinsed it and hanged it to dry. <laughs> Restarting houses on Pumpkin Lane. Stitch the first house with the extra borders and find I had the linen turned the wrong way. Oh, no. Bex from Texas says, happy 35th birthday, Jordan. He says he'll take it, so that means he's older, I guess. I don't know his age. I'm not going to ask. Now, Denise turns it in, and notice she doesn't turn it in full. Like, what's that degree? 90? 45. 45? This is 90, and then this is like 45. Okay, so she's doing 45 degrees rather than 90. 90 would be more like this. So you're going to get a better result with that. I don't ever know my degrees. I'm sorry. I did make A's in geometry, but that is long gone. My kids, two of my kids are taking the star test today. So hopefully they had a good breakfast. They had, um, we had all, we got vanilla scones, chocolate scones. They have cereal. They have all kinds of stuff. So hopefully they... Kevin took them to school today, so hopefully they took the time to eat. I just started daisies. Yeah, I. so one thing I've been doing is I kind of keep the best for last, so I stitch whatever is going to be the longest stitch, and then I go, and daisies is going to be pretty quick because it's 14 count, so because of that, I'm going to do that last out of everything I have. And so she went from right to left. I'm working on May Primitive Cottage. Happy birthday, Jordan. Denise's ring is gorgeous. Currently working on Tea Break by Shannon Christine. It's for a friend's Christmas present. Beck says she was being generous. Have y'all even seen Jordan to even know what age he is? I mean, how do y'all even know? That's so funny. Kimberly from Southwest Florida, you inspired me to start cross stitching. Thank you for your videos. Happy birthday, Jordan. Enjoy your day. That's from Tori, T Tony B. Rabbits, but I'm also knitting socks. I went down the sock rabbit hole. Oh my gosh. I don't, that's the only craft I don't know how to do is to knit. I love to crochet. I still haven't finished um, Peyton's Christmas gift though. And he did bring it up the other day and I was like, okay, I gotta finish it. It's gotten really big, so it's, I used to do it in the car, but it's gotten like so big that it just, it's too much for the car now. Hello from Arizona. Denise's ring, wow, gorgeous. So now she's just flattening it to kind of make sure it's flat. And you see how much time Denise takes? Like, she's really making sure, like, she's not rushing. She's just making sure it's really nice and pretty. I think it looks great. Okay. And then she's going to do this piece. Oh, she's going to iron it. Okay, so when she's ironing, what she's doing, that blue or purple thing that's down, that's like a yarn tree pressing cloth. 
and she's just putting the iron on the edge to get the friction off. And if you turn the iron upside down, Denise, show it upside down, just make sure your iron is clean like that. Because if it's not, and you have something black, and you're touching the iron like that, it's gonna really kind of, because of the way she's pressing, it's gonna rub off. Have we had any updates on Jordan's puppy? What, you wanna give us an update? She's bad, he said. She's not bad. My dog got um, in trouble, but I think his dog is just a puppy. He said that's true. My mine got in trouble at daycare, and I asked today that when I dropped him off, I haven't been taking him all the time now. I take him less because he got in trouble, and I said, has he been better? And I was thinking she was going to be like, yes, and she was like, no. She kind of gave me the look of like, no. And she said that the other parents of the other dog decided that he could go to the big boy room when, when my dog is there because he can't behave. Watching Denise's steps, so helpful. I know the little steps make a big difference. So now what she's gonna do is she's gonna measure from the inside of the edges of the frame and she's gonna write those measurements down. And um, then she's gonna cut a sticky board that size, stick it in to make sure it fits, and then do the fabrics. Puppies are so fun, but they have a ton of energy. Can I still donate for Moonbeams? Yes, we are raising money for, for Make-A-Wish through July or August. Is Jordan married? We're not gonna go there. He's not, but he might be soon. Y'all might be able to put two and two together. Maybe we won't, I don't know. I don't know what I can say on video. My first crawl, I'm gonna stop talking now. Y'all, stop asking questions that are that I have to answer. I don't wanna answer them. My first cross stitch in 20 years, homegrown. I'm afraid I didn't measure enough extra fabric. You know, I always get scared of that. The other day I was stitching on um, the shelf life and I was like, you know what, when I get to the top, is there gonna be enough room? And luckily there was, uh, but if not, I was just gonna apologize to Denise cause she was just gonna have to be fudging it. Where do we get the magnets from and what size do we use? We get them from Amazon and Ashley can link it. I don't even know what brand it is. Okay, so now she's measuring that size that she wrote down, which is four, four and one eighth by 13 and a half. When mine was a puppy, I used a playpen. So baby, oh, so maybe Denise knows the rest of Jordan's story. Maybe she does. I'm not gonna say anything else because I don't want to, I don't want them to get mad at me. Oh my God. Y'all, I knew y'all would eventually figure it out, but okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it because now I'm uncomfortable. Is the angle, now we're all uncomfortable in the room. Is the angle closer to 30? Let's just focus on um, Jordan's birthday. My dog is almost 10. She's still a pain in the butt. Yeah, mine is like, he's been throwing these like tantrums where he just sits and then he does a side eye. And I'm like, what? Like, and it's so that he can get a treat, but he's trained my kids when I'm not home that he does that and then they give him a treat. So now he's doing it. And um, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna put that in there and she she's trying to make sure it has, so you trim it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So put it four. back in there so we can show them. So um, right. There, it fits there, but see how it's a little loose. Plus, she's gonna add fabric on top, so she's gonna trim it down a little bit. You want to have a tiny, like a thirty second of one thirty second of an inch on each side, or a sixteenth of an inch on each side, so that when you wrap the fabric, it actually will fit. What is the size of the buttons that are to be covered? I have no idea what buttons. So I don't know. And thank you to Ashley. She put a donation link to make a wish. Trained my kids. The dog did train my kids. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, he is so bad. He used to be so good, um, but I will say the nanny really spoils him. And I always tell her like, don't let him act like that. And she's like, oh, he's good. I'm like, no, he's not. He's not barking. He should not be barking. Okay, so see how it fits really nice now? And she's, it's like really even on all the sides. 
So now she's going to, this is not as hard, but it is a little bit hard because of the diagonal, um, it's a plaid, so it's on the diagonal. So you can't just like slap it on here like if it was a polka dot. So she just has cut off a piece, a random piece. And um, we actually have all of Priscilla and Chelsea's fabrics in our room. And so she just pulled a piece from it. And then she's lining up at the top. She's lining up like the bottom of those um, little squares. And that's how she's lining it up. Thanks to Kim, huh? You wanted this black fabric, right? Yeah, black fabric, yes. Yes, so I think black is gonna go with all of them. Now, of course, we're gonna have to buy 12 of these thingies, but I just, I like to have everything where we don't have to like track down stuff. The buttons that go with the bows that Priscilla uses with the bows. Oh, several options on your website. I would say one inch or three quarter of an inch. Denise is bringing them to me. Oh, okay. So here, look how organized we are. This is how we store them. And I'll measure them real quick. That would give me something to do. Okay. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, you guys are guessing right. That's all I'm gonna tell you. This one is 5 eighths. That's the smallest one. And this one is 7 eighths. She generally uses the bigger ones mostly so I would say if I was guessing I would say one inch of course you could comment on any of her videos and she will answer you I don't want to say wrong so what Denise has done here she does the same thing where she's doing the bottom the top the left the right and she's using double-sided sticky tape and she goes all the way from one edge to the other edge I rescued a dash hound Dachshund, oh, in December, that thinks he belongs in my lap every time I sit. I ignore him if he starts to growl at me louder and louder until I pick him up. He's so funny. My dog actually talks. He, he, he like, I'm not kidding. He like makes noises and rah, 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 drives Kevin crazy. And so, I don't know. Kevin said the other day that I am the definite queen of having dogs that misbehave. And he's actually right. Because I used to have a dog that was a Pekingese and... He actually bit, and when I say he bit, I mean he attacked. So that was not a good situation, but I had him and I kept him, and yeah, I'm not the best at dog training. My older grandchildren love the patriotic typefaces, so now I am stitching four sets of them. I'm scared they'll want Lori's stitched, witched, and scarecrow when they see them. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stitching. That's so nice of you to stitch that for them. I'm teaching my first quilting class as a volunteer. Yay! Um, from Kentucky working on my rabbit word swap as I watch. Tutorials is so helpful. Takes my cross stitch projects to a new level. And we want to give a huge shout out to Priscilla and Chelsea because they are the inspiration. We learned all of this from them. So I don't ever want to take credit away from where we learned something. And the, this finishing tape is the three quarter inch wide by 30 yards. Oh, did you pull that out of your pocket? No, I it oh, I was like, where did you come up with that? That's so funny. Um, yeah, and this is the one we use. My husky Luna is the queen of my house. I can't help it, she's our little girl. We are good at solving crimes too. Oh, that's so funny. I, I don't know. I wish I could. I Sometimes I, I watch, um, I've been watching um, podcasts that talk about, oh, I'm taking her tape away. 
um, about like PIs and when they follow people and what happens is so fun. And I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, they could follow me. They would find nothing. It'd be like Starbucks and the school and work. And Starbucks and the school and work. Have I ever used Velcro? I have not. When I did magnets, it seemed bulky. We haven't tried um, Velcro. You could always try it. I'm excited about the new Tula Pink quilt. We have worked on that for nine months, so thank you. Congratulations to Chelsea. Yes, if you guys want to see that, that's all on their Facebook page. I don't want to take anything away. Do I have any trips planned? I am hoping to get to TCU for Emma to have a college tour. She just did a tour of Ole Miss, and then we're going to see. But that's kind of our focus right now is figuring out where she's going to go to college. I really want her to do early acceptance or early decision. There's a difference in the two, and I actually don't know the difference. But I kind of want her to do early decisions so that it's just done and it's not lingering. I have seen for the last couple of years these parents, I mean, it's great, but I mean, just where the kids don't decide and they just wafer, like they go back and forth and I don't know that I can, I don't know that my, I can handle that. And I'm really happy if she goes to TCU because my brother, his what, his, her aunt, her niece live there. Um, so there would be family there, it'd be close enough to come home. I don't want her to go like somewhere like far away that takes a plane trip, but Old Miss is definitely on the list. So I'm trying to not say anything. I mean, I think it's a beautiful school and really pretty, but um, I would like to be able to just drive and see her. The corners are where I goof up. Yeah, and I mean, Denise has just done it so long. I mean, look at how, look at it kind of up close. So you can see that angle. And if you do too, too far this way or too far this way, it's gonna pull. Okay, so she wrote some numbers down. And the reason she wrote them down is so that next time she has them. So this is 13 by three and five eighths. That means this piece. She wrote down 13 and a half by four, that's this piece. And then she's gonna keep this in her notebook for when she finishes all the rest so that she can just kind of mass do it, probably. I'm just guessing. Denise got that so perfect, and she makes it look easy. Yes. Three cheers to Denise for getting the checks perfectly straight. Go Frogs. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think that's the TCU logo or mascot. I really don't. I just kind of want her to stay in Texas, but she's not going to get into UT. Um, I think Texas State, that's where I went, and that's where everyone in my family has gone. Well, after, before me, my time, my uncle, my cousin, like all of the people of my generation, I guess, and above. It's too close to home. She needs to um, go at least where she can be a little bit away, but not too far. So I'm kind of just, I haven't planned, I, I need to go visit Lori too. So that's also on the list. The sticky tape is the It's So Emma sticky tape. This is what it looks like. Denise is amazing, yes she is. The lawn was calling. Let's see, I live in Oxford, retired from Ole Miss a couple years ago. Yeah, I, it's a, we've been there three, she's been there four times, I've been there three. It's a beautiful town. I got my favorite pair of tennis shoes from a little boutique downtown um, and the square. Really good steak restaurant down there. I just don't want to have to take two flights. If there was a direct flight, I think I would be a little bit happier. But, I mean, she's going to do what, it's going to depend on where she gets scholarships um, too. So. so now she has it centered down. She's going to, at this point, hot glue it. So this is the hard part. She's going to hot glue this. And I think she's getting nervous because hot glue. And when I walked in the room this morning, I was like, oh, I can smell that hot glue. Okay, so what she does is she puts in a fresh glue stick, and like I said, she's using the Gorilla brand, and then she, I'm just gonna not talk because I don't wanna make her nervous. You wanna put enough glue where it's gonna stick, but you don't wanna put an, so much that it oozes out of the side, if that makes sense. So, and that's why she put that new one in, so that it would, um, and then she's gonna try not to burn herself like I do. I always burn myself every time. 
and then you just she's on her tippy toes so that she can see the top to try to get it like right on there we are um, we have a link to the glue gun we have some glue guns on order but the distributor we buy it from has not or has not fulfilled the order yet but uh, Denise um, Ashley has a link to it <coughs> my kids all went to college within driving distance but most out of state yeah the only yeah I definitely don't want her living I'm, I'm gonna celebrate when she moves out I love her but um, I, I do think I will be up trying to just go to dinner with her and I don't know she says she doesn't know what she's gonna do when I go when she goes and I don't know what she's gonna do we're a mess is there a reason she did not trim all the excess on the back because it doesn't really show you could you definitely could but it's so that we don't it's so that when we're on the first steps we don't accidentally just chop off something we shouldn't so but you definitely could okay so here she's gonna drop that in and then she's gonna hot glue that down. And that one's gonna be easier to hot glue because you can just pop it in. And this is Priscilla and Chelsea's pattern. That, let me see the pattern real quick. So this is the rabbit's pattern word swap. And then on the back, they use this Hobby Lobby piece number 1935824. And so um, she's gonna hot glue the piece, not the wood. And I think that's personal preference. Mm -hmm. It's not, I don't think there's, there's not like a science to whether you should hot glue one or the other. She's just doing what she thinks has worked best. Great job, Denise, and congratulations. When will the chunky thread be back in stock? Um, I didn't know it was out of stock. So it should be on order. And then next week, I will be showing you how I made the April Word Swap Bunnies Match, this one. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. And so we're going to leave ours just like this. Now, you could decorate and put, um, she didn't here, but you could put, you know, like a covered button and all kinds of things. We're not going to do that. We might do all 12 of these and just hang them on a wall all together. We might put them on easels. Now, right here, she's really pushing in the heat, right? Yeah. Like the heat. I don't want this to bottom out heat. with, like, pressure. Okay, so she's just trying to make sure that when she presses on the front, it doesn't pop out back here. I went to a college 12 hours north in Michigan, stayed over Thanksgiving, and cut and sewed a full-length winter coat with a faux fur liner. My folks survived. <laughs> well, last night when I got home, there was a car in my driveway, and I was like, I wonder who's here. I went in my, I went in my, she likes to do um, TikToks in my bathroom of my sewing room with uh, everything showing, and I'm like, could you please close the door? So I thought she was doing TikToks, so I went in there, and I was trying to, like, interrupt a TikTok. They were decorating trash cans for Drill Team in my bathroom. And I was like, um, did you clean up? And then I went in there this morning and I would say it's half clean. So yay, thank you, Denise. Okay, so now that we've done that, if you have any questions, let us know. Hopefully we've covered everything. I'm gonna show you some new things that have come in this week. It's not too, too many things. Um, we have some new Tiny Modernist. This is the, uh, Tarot for Stitchers, and it's 11 part series, and this is part three. So, this is T set hoops, and uh, Jordan loves this that the thread connects. And then the sheet basket. Now, we did just get this fabric in. This is 14 count. This is 14 count. This is 28 count. Both by Fabric Flare both larger pieces at 27 by 36 and it's called tiny modernist dark stone in 14 count or in 28 count and i'll open it and that's what this is uh stitched on and i believe she's stitching this on the 28 count because when we saw it at market i remember that so we yeah and you can see the name so we now have part three and the fabric came in Twin Peak Primitives Patriotic Book 2024. So they always do a patriotic uh, booklet. This is really cool. 
You know, the other day I saw um, a picture of Mount Rushmore zoomed out and it was really amazing. I've never been there. I've always wanted to go. I've never been there. And let's see if there's, oh, here we go. I was like, I know it's somewhere. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally open. And then we have new Shannon Christine eggs to die for egg sighted and a lot of the easter stuff is coming out a little bit late this year but i think it's just easter was early cottontail farms mr cottontail mrs cottontail that's cute jelly bean and easter's on its way and then at market, we bought three different threads. Now, we bought this very light, meaning we just bought a little bit of it because we have no idea how this is gonna sell. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. I'm not an expert. All this information I'm giving you is straight from Cheryl. This is called Whisper Single Strand Textured Embroidery Thread by Rainbow Gallery. Rainbow Gallery is the same company that makes Picture This Plus. This is, like I said, single strand. It is, um, I would say it was difficult to use, but has a beautiful effect. And you could use this for beards, hair, animals. And what you do per Cheryl is you stitch it, and then you use something like a toothbrush or a floss fairy, and you go like this, and it makes it more uh, beardy and so like if you look at it you can kind of see the so we bought we just bought top sellers we didn't buy all I think we bought the top 20 sellers of the whisper just to see and then we got silk lame did I say that right okay silk lame braid This is also single strand embroidery floss by Rainbow Gallery, thin. Now it has a touch of metallic and I'm gonna compare this to one that's full metallic. So this has a touch of metallic and it's just for a little bit of sparkle. You could either use the single stranded or add another thread to it if you want it. So this is the single strand silk lame. This is treasure braid petite. It's three ply braided metallic embroidery floss by Rainbow Gallery. It is um, rumored to be easier to use than other metallic threads on the market. And so I was gonna show you like two colors together that are similar. So it kind of depends on what color you get. But this one's full metallic and this one's not. I have never tried any of these. So let me know what you think. We're trying to always add to our um, variety. And then we have one other fabric flare fabric that we got in that's new. I think it was a customer request. It's the white brick wall 28 count. So this one It's a smaller piece. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you to Denise for doing the tutorial next week. We will be back and we will just be showing you all the stuff I've been stitching on. I have made some color choices, color changes, things like that. So we can talk about that and anything else you want to talk about. So I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next week.